<laughs> well, hello there. Today is a new video and today is a new haul what I've got at Gucci. Last time I've been to Milan. I actually went to Milan about two weeks ago and we went to Seravale outlet and oh my goodness that was the first day of sale there was so many queues to every shop it took us probably 40 minutes to get into each shop so what i visited in Saravalli were gucci fendi celine i think ralph lauren and maybe prada that's it in a huge shopping mall only five shops i was able to enter because it was a line in every store and it was impossible to enter but it was fun and I, i've got some pretty cool items over there so this is my limited edition george kenneth scott for gucci it was a really really cool collaboration that's basically jacket and the shorts and what Gucci did the past few years were absolutely beautiful it resonated with me and uh, that was a, such a shame to see Alessandro Michele who been a creative director for Gucci for past few years they let him go and oh my god I was afraid to see what Gucci going to put up as this season with a new creative director i don't even really even know and i don't really care anymore who's a creative director at gucci right now because the men's collection they just put up uh, i think about 10 days ago that was a nightmare for me when it comes to alessandro michele and his vision of gucci oh my goodness every piece from each collection i wanted to own and i collected so many unique pieces it's really truly unique he embraced the heritage he embraced the history he really played with the Gigi logos whatever he did was absolutely amazing and it resonated with me so highly so to see right now what gucci did was absolutely devastating because that was a luxury basic that was a basic. Before Gucci and Alessandra Michele, it was so different from every fashion house out there. It was unique. You could immediately spot a real Gucci. Yes, it was probably not for everybody, but for me, going to a Gucci, it was like a kid in a candy store. It was always amazing. It was always highly satisfying. And I always spent so much money buying stuff I really, really loved. So now I accumulate quite a big collection of uh, Gucci by Alessandro Michele. And at some point I was actually thinking, maybe I should sell some of the items which I rarely wear, but not any longer. Because now with the new Gucci, all the Gucci which were created by Alessandro Michele will be a collectible pieces. I truly believe that. Because what Gucci did now, is they, they literally destroyed destroyed whatever Alessandra Michele did as a fashion house. Such a shame. Anyways, I'd like to show you what I've got this time uh, when I was at Gucci. So first thing first, I got this absolutely gorgeous windbreaker. This is like a kaleidoscope print with a visible GG logo all over the jacket. And it's so bright, it's so colorful. It's so iconic Gucci by Alessandra Michele. You just couldn't go wrong with this windbreaker. This windbreaker is such a unique piece. In fact, I have uh, quite a few windbreakers by Gucci. By Alessandro Michele for Gucci. Let's remember his name. Let's remember his work. And uh, this jacket is probably one of the brightest one. It's one of the coolest one. It's so beautiful. The thing is about Gucci, it's usually way too bright, way too colorful. I keep reminding myself, oh, you like total black looks, very muted color or something like sleek and slender, like uh, what they do at Saint Laurent, for example. I have a huge collection of Saint Laurent pieces, but still Gucci is my favorite. So when you see this kind of windbreaker, you're thinking, no, it's way too bright. And it is really too bright and it is really is too colorful but then again you try it you think a little bit and then you fell in love with it right on the spot and you go and you pull a trigger and you're buying this piece this is absolutely beautiful the only trouble i have with uh gucci pieces by alessandra michele i found myself in the situation that i don't have a quiet pants if you will because you can't have a colorful top colorful bottom and crazy colorful shoes because that look is totally crazy so if you try to pull total look by Gucci it's really really hard I'll show you what I mean 
really is a beautiful windbreaker, but Jesus Christ, not with these Gucci shorts. I know I'm not able to pull it off, but I'm still wearing it. But anyways, I went and I bought pretty cool uh, Lacoste sweatpants, which is what uh, dark blue color with just a huge crocodile <laughs> on the side. So with those pants, this jacket looks absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous windbreaker. It is layered with an extra pocket inside. Oh my goodness. This jacket is absolutely beautiful. Also, I bought some sweatpants. This is a last collaboration piece from Gucci and North Face. My heart is bleeding when I'm thinking that we're not gonna get any more this cool collaboration like Gucci did past few seasons with a North Face, with a Adidas. It was always such a bright and cool pieces. There's still some left at Gucci.com, but you can already see the new collection start rolling out. And it's just a boring, basic pieces, overpriced for no good reason. I mean, I can justify a thousand euro for pants like that, but there's no, I can justify a simple knitted sweater for a thousand euro without any logos, without any prints. Yes, it's a Gucci, but good Lord. It's amazing, sure, to have a Gucci which looks exactly like Zara and there's no definition between two. What a shame. Let me try this beautiful pants on. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to buy too much stuff from uh, Gucci and North Face collaboration. What I've got is a uh, Fury slippers, which I've got in Barcelona about a year and a half ago. Uh, these pants and uh, I think that's about it. I really wanted to get a puffer from collaboration Gucci North Face, but unfortunately it was sold out so quickly and I did my best to buy that puffer on, I think it was Vestiari Collective. That's a website where you're supposed to really buy luxury items secondhand, off hands of somebody who already purchased them. Some of them are used, some of them are brand new with tags. My experience with Vestiari Collective is quite sad. Four times I made a purchase. Price range on that puffer was between uh, two and a half thousand to up to four thousand euros. So four times I transferred the money to Vestiari Collective and the buyer has never shipped the items. I'm talking about four different buyers. One from Germany, one from Poland, one from, I believe it was France or Switzerland. Four times I sent the money, four times Vestiari Collective sent me money back because the buyer just never sent the item. So they had to sh refund me within a 10 days of a time frame. What a terrible experience shopping at Vestiaria Collective. I don't know how it works. Not a single item I bought there went through. I'm paying, I'm sending my money, but the buyer just never sent the item. I have no idea why it's like that. I can understand maybe jacket once I bought in Poland for price of a 2,500. Yeah, sure, it was probably the cheaper price than it was originally at Gucci. I understand they didn't send the item, but when you're paying 4,000 euro for a bloody puffer, and they just never send it for 4,000 euro. It's a good price of a collectible item. And they just never shipped my item. Four times I pulled the trigger, four times the STI Collective sent me my money back. I don't know how it works. The only experience I've got at Vistaria Collective is only negative one. But anyway, I've got another absolutely beautiful jacket. And this jacket is from probably a few months ago was a collection at Gucci. It's something 100 music. No, it wasn't few. I think it was a year ago. Let me show you the jacket. This absolutely beautiful quilted jacket from Gucci. And uh, the collection was Music is Mine. This is embroidered on the back of this jacket. This was a collection hundred something music songs or something i don't really remember what was a collection is about but it's absolutely insane extremely loud and bright gg canvas very sturdy with a beautiful gucci logo on a chest so there you go this i don't think it's a jacket it's more like a short coat because it goes a bit longer and it's looked like a coat I don't know, it's a very confusing piece. I really didn't want to buy this item, but my friends who I was shopping with, 
in Milan, they said, oh my God, it's a beautiful jacket. You have to have it. So I pulled the trigger. So I went immediately on the streets wearing this jacket. Oh my God, absolutely. Everybody was turning their hands and everybody was sporting the jacket. I don't know for what reason they were looking at me because I love the jacket, because they thought their jacket is too crazy, because, because it's a Gucci, of course, you can tell it's a Gucci from the mile away, but anyway, absolutely, whole Milan were looking at my jacket, and I was probably the loudest and the brightest one in the streets of Milan those days. It's a beautiful jacket, I really, really like it. And uh, for me, this is extremely no nostalgic piece at this point, because I know I'm going to remember Alessandro Michele buy this, for example, item. And this is classic Alessandro Michele. This is dusty. It's very vintage. It's very bright and colorful. It's an authentic Alessandro Michele. Alessandro Michele and his values, what he brought to Gucci and all the how to say, legacies of the fashion house he was playing with. And such a shame that such an artist left such an amazing fashion house. And at this point, Gucci is not exist for me anymore. And oh my God, our loyal fan. What a sad, sad story. Anyway, that was two of my Gucci jackets and the North Face sport pants but i also got one pretty useful item which i never really even knew the gucci were making so when i found out about this piece i'm gonna show it to you right now you're gonna love it so how i usually travel who doesn't know i'm a full-time blogger uh, besides this channel i've got three other channels on youtube and three other channels are run in russian who doesn't know by the way my name is anton and i'm from estonia but my native language is russian so when i travel or uh, making a short trip i always carry some equipment with me because i shoot daily uh, I never carry my expensive camera, which I'm shooting is Sony, is around 5,000 euro camera, so I usually shoot on that. But when I travel, I always take this Sony ZV-1, which I'm shooting my video right now. So usually my camera goes in that porter pouch, and it usually goes here. This one from my GoPro, and it's very useful for traveling. It's very sturdy, it's very, durable i also use this cord for my microphone so i connect it to the camera and i connect it to my chest and also this one is connected to my macbook i'm not using it anymore because i macbook pro 13 inches have this finally slot for sd card but still this is an emergency thing and the rest of my equipment i carry here so is my rode microphone then there is a rode on top of the camera which is also rode mic go second generation i forgot about also the case for my sd cards which i always carry about for sd card and of also this holder for my iphone this is one is by manfrotto so in my carry-on, there's two boxes which are absolutely hideous looking. This is from Andy Scene external screen. This is from GoPro. And while surfing on my Teresa, I found out that Gucci is actually making um, pocket cubes. That's how they call it. They're quite expensive for what they are. This is basically help you to organize your hand luggage or your suitcase. This piece is uh, medium size. I think it's 23 on 23 centimeters. And this is made of a Gucci Canva. It's absolutely beautiful, durable square box to help you organize your stuff. And again, I'm a huge Gucci fan. So I thought everything I have is used to have is by gucci not anymore probably because i'm not gonna play that game they're playing right now alessandro michele gone gucci is gone for me so it's a very spacious little box case and this is how i organize it actually when i was looking for reviews i always looking at reviews on the stuff which is new to me so i found out that not only gucci making this organizing cubes but louis vuitton as well but I'm a Gucci boy, so always Gucci. So this is how it works for me right now. Here's my camera. I mean, the case for the camera. I'm shooting on that camera. Here's my extra cord. 
Here's my holder for my iPhone. Here's a case for my SD cards. Here's my another microphone. So basically, that's exactly how is my uh, blogger equipment looking when I'm traveling. I'm always trying to travel light. So a small camera, like a pocket-sized camera, is extremely useful. And besides, this Sony ZV-1 is absolutely gorgeous camera. When I bought it, it was quite expensive. It's still around 800, 900 euros. So it's very expensive for a pocket-sized camera. But good Lord, I took advantage of this camera. It's such a useful camera, which provides amazing quality of a picture. I love this camera so very much. So when the first time I bought that camera, I thought, why the hell I bought it? But now, no regrets. So, there you go. Gucci packing cube. This one costs around 400 euros. I want to say 480 or maybe, no, it, it's around 450 euros for a packing cube. It's absolutely unnecessary if... It's absolutely unnecessary. There's no really just uh, justifiable uh, reasons why I bought this fucking cube by Gucci, but yet again, I'm a huge Gucci fan. Absolutely everything you own is by Gucci. It's smart to have that this one in your collection because it fits absolutely nicely with the old DNA of your small leather goods and all your carry-ons and all your bags. I'm in love with this fucking cube. It looks so cool. It looks so convenient. It's actually extremely convenient. The only bad thing about this fucking cube is the price. It's really expensive for what it is. But there's a smaller version of it, I think 350 euros. And there's a bigger version of it, I think 490 or maybe 500 something. But in a big uh, packing cube, you can actually fit a small laptop like a MacBook Pro 13 inches. I, I believe you can fit in there. But anyways, it's absolutely beautiful packing cube. No regrets whatsoever. I have a complete collection of Gucci small leather goods. And this one is just a cherry on a cake. It's beautiful and I absolutely love it. So, so there you go. This is a fashion haul for this week. I hope you liked what I bought. Uh, I, if you were a Gucci fan, I was wondering what you think about the new collection they're making. I don't know if I'm be able to switch to new Gucci. I'm a huge logo maniac. There were almost no logos whatsoever. There's no fun. There's no quirkiness. There's nothing, nothing but resonates with me. And uh, unfortunately, thinking right now about the Gucci, for me, there's no really an, an alternative for, for the Gucci. Uh, D squared, they quite crazy, quite loud, but those to me, like a Cavalli or Dolce & Gabbana, for me, this is too... <clears throat> it's too sparkly. It's like Philippe played. For me, this is just a pure bad taste. I'm not gonna insult anyone out there who love those brands, but it's just not for me. And I don't like it at all. Like Versace, that's just not for me. So now when Alexander Michele left Gucci, I don't know what's left for us. Thank God I have a huge collection of Gucci by Alexandre Michele, so I'm gonna wear the hell out of it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribe to my channel. Consider give this video a thumbs up. I'm really trying to speak in English here and I hope you understand because I do speak English fine. I understand literally everything. But unfortunately, lately, I don't have much practice speaking in English with anyone. So my English channel is probably the only place I speak English right now. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. See you next Friday. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love what I'm gonna put up next Friday. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.